Thanks. Aww. Oh, water is better than butter. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Oh, us too. We couldn't be happier that these two are getting married. Robbie, put on some clothes. You're making everybody sick. <laughs> Amy, dear, you can remove all of your food because I've made some things. <laughs> so, uh, you're from Pennsylvania, huh? Yes, we are. Well, it just goes to show you Everybody's from somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so wonderful that you can join us for brunch. <laughs> Homemade blueberry muffins. Oh, it's nice of you to offer, Marie, but actually we already ate breakfast. Th this is brunch. <laughs> actually, I don't eat muffins. I'm sorry? It's nothing personal. He's never had one. <laughs> You've never had a blueberry muffin? I've never had any kind of muffin. In your life? It's just never appealed to me. I'll take his muffin. Oh, no. It's not polite to eat if other people aren't. Didn't you hear? He's never going to eat. All right, can we at least put on the television? What do you say, Hank? You want to flip on the tube? We're not much for TV. Especially on a Sunday. What else is there to do on a Sunday? <laughs> well, we kind of like to keep that mostly for church and family. Oh, how great. <laughs> By the way, young lady, did you even go to church this morning? Uh, we went to church last week. This Sunday, all family. <laughs> Give me a mic. No, 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 but no, please behave yourself. Ha! No, Frank, what the yelling about. Listen, let's just go home. <laughs> what? Go home? Yeah, you know, I, I realize the kids are at the birthday party and we could spend some time alone. Right, come on. We already had sex this week. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. First of all, that was nine days ago. Right? Okay, listen. Amy's parents are in there. <gasps> Amy's parents? Really? Oh, I've never met them. <gasps> They must have changed their minds about Robert, and now they want to meet your whole... Oh, my God, I have to help Amy. No, 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 because you're going you're gonna to say stuff and get all involved. And Wait, let's just go to the mall, and you can buy stuff, and I'll walk behind you and call you pretty. Your mother is in there, and you're worried about me getting involved? <laughs> Go! 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 Get your hand out of my pants! How's everybody doing? We're fine. Dad stuffed a muffin in his pocket. Marie? Oh, fine. Keep it. It's fine with me. Look, honey, I found another piece of Jesus' beard. Oh, good. Put that in the pile. I'm still working on the sandals. I'll get it. I wonder who that could be at this hour. Hello, 
Mr. McDougal. Robert? It's been a long time. May I? Uh, sure. Amy's not here, you know. No, no, I'm here to see you. Mrs. McDougal, sorry to interrupt your evening. Hello, Robert. It's nice to see you again. What brings you to Pennsylvania? My car. <laughs> some warm cider? Oh, no, no, thank you. I don't want to take up too much of your time. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason that I'm here... I've been thinking a lot about Amy, and she means the world to me. In fact, that's why I'm here. I want to do things right. And out of respect for her and you, I would like to formally request your daughter's hand in marriage. No. <laughs> what? No. No? We don't think it's a very good idea. It's nice to see you again, though. <laughs> you probably have a long drive back. I'll put some cider in a cup for you. Wait, 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 please, may, may I, uh, I... Why? Why? <laughs> he wants to know why. <laughs> oh, Peter. Robert, have you met Amy's brother, Peter? No, we've never had the pleasure. I met his brother Raymond once. He came into my comic book store. I liked him. Well, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you, Peter. I've heard a lot of great things about you. Is that a new shirt? Yes, it is, Mama. Do you like it? You look handsome. Thank you, Mama. <clears throat> I'm sorry, but you know... I don't understand. Exactly. Well, Robert, you just don't seem to have the stability we'd prefer in a husband for our Amy. Well, look, you know, we've had our ups and downs, but, but, but I... It's just that over the years, Robert, there have been so many times when Amy was very unhappy. You don't know the half of it, Mama. So often she would come into the store and curl up in the used comic section and cry like little Lotta. Oh, my. So you could see, Robert, I think any parent would not want their daughter to have a life of... you. And you look so beautiful today. And... I guess I pictured my little girl's wedding a certain way. I used to worry about telling you what to expect. You know, on your wedding night. <laughs> but you and Robert have already... Brother, please! I'm sorry. You're right, sweetie. I know it's a different world. All fun all the time. <laughs> But look at you. You're like an angel dropped from heaven. And you've always been that for me and your father.
Thanks, Mom. I better go. That phone book for Aunt Florence is a good idea. <laughs> oh, my, we're supposed to get started in five minutes, and I haven't seen Reverend Stevens yet. Peter? Yes, Mama. Honey, you picked up Reverend Stevens this morning, didn't you? Well, yes, of course I did, Mama. I have no idea where that rascal could have gotten to. But I'm on it. Did Peter come in here? Yeah, he's in there. Peter! Come on, Peter, I know you're in there. I'm very busy. <laughs> What's going on? He, he was supposed to pick up the Reverend guy and nobody can find him. Peter, come out there right now! No. I can see you! <laughs> what did you do to him? Oh, uh, Reverend Stevens. Somebody was supposed to pick me up. I had to hitchhike. <laughs> Let's get this over with. <laughs> Well, gee, who did I pick up then? <laughs> Peter? Are you in there, Peter? Yes, Mama, I am. Come on in. Oh, hello. Peter, we found Reverend Stevens. You can stop looking. Oh, thank goodness. Everything all right in here? Yes, everything's fine, Mama. Everything's great. Hey, I think it's wedding time, isn't it? Places, everyone! <laughs> oh, good luck out there. Good morning. Good morning. We are gathered here today in the sight of God to join together in marriage Robert Charles Barone and Amy Louise McDougall. If there is anyone here who knows any reason why these two people should not be joined in holy matrimony, let them speak now or forever hold their peace. <laughs> We will begin this morning. Excuse me. I need to say something. <laughs> Robert, I always wanted to ask you something. What is that, sir? Why do you touch your food to your chin before you put it in your mouth? <laughs> Dad. No, no, that, that's OK, Amy. You know, I noticed that, too. Why do you do that, Robert? <laughs> It's, it's nothing. It's just a little little habit of mine, that's all. Yeah, he hardly ever does it. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. Every family has their oddball. <laughs> With us, it's mom. <laughs> but why do you do it? Are you using your chin to test the temperature of your food? <laughs> Silly, Hank. He'd have a big red mark on his chin every time the food was too hot. That's true. So it's not that. That's where his mouth was when he got here. He's still growing. <laughs> Sweet potatoes. 
Uh, oh, yeah. Hey, you better get them before I eat them all up. Peter's <laughs> 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 done. I don't think it's cuckoo at all. Touching food to your chin. Excuse me? You're doing it again. Look, I'm sorry, but I thought you did that because of stress. Are you stressed? It's okay if you're stressed. I just want to know if you're stressed. Are you stressed? <laughs> Maybe a little bit now. <laughs> Why are you bugging me about this? Oh, nobody's bugging you, sweetie. We all just want to help. What? What do you mean, we all? Who's we? Nobody, just some of us were talking. Well, who was talking? Who's the some of us who were talking? It was just me and Ray. Ray? And Deborah. Deborah? Deborah was talking about me? What was she saying? Wait, why does Deborah bother you more than Ray? You know, you care way too much about her opinion. What I care about is you traveling the countryside going, who has a cure for my husband, the loon? <laughs> just trying to help. I don't need any help. But wouldn't it be good to finally deal with your little chin problem? Oh, problem, I see. So now I have a problem. Was that the verdict in Ray and Deborah's kangaroo court? Robert, <laughs> look, please. Look, look, you think I have a problem? Well, well, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe you have uh, the problem, uh, Missy. <laughs> That's right. What about, what about, what about the way you eat, huh? And the, Oh, yes, yes, you do eat like that. And, 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 and you walk funny. Hi, I'm Amy. Uh -huh. Maybe you don't think you walk like that, but you do. And every day, the world pretends not to notice. So maybe you're the one who needs the help, because I am perfectly fine. <laughs> Robert, stop it. Where are you going? I believe I'll be sleeping at my parents' house tonight. They love me for who I am. What is it, Marie? Oh, thank God. What's the matter? You were uh, yelling like a crazy lady on the phone. That's not you. Come here. <laughs> so? Hose them off, we'll roll them back in the ocean. <laughs> This looks like it's part of the snake crawling on that poor young lady's bottom. Yeah, that fits. You got a good eye for this. I think we're a good team. We're like Kareem and Magic Johnson. Kareem and Magic, you know basketball? Only what I've learned from your column. Really? You read my column? Oh, yes, ever since we became family. They have Newsday in the library. You go to the library to read my column? It's only a 20-minute drive. <laughs> You're very good. Thanks. You know, I'm thinking of writing a book. You are? Yeah. Yeah, I tried writing books before, but I, I never finished them. Same as reading them, you know? <laughs> but, um, this one I'm working on, it's about Mickey Mantle and his relationship with Billy Martin and Whitey Ford. Do you know those guys? I've heard of Mickey. I don't know Billy or Whitey. <laughs> well, they were these great players, and they all hung out together. And I don't know. I don't know. It's probably stupid. I don't think it's stupid at all. What does Deborah think? She must be very excited. Uh, I haven't even told Deborah. No? 
No, she doesn't even read my column. Oh, she must. Yeah, not so much anymore. You know, she used to when we were dating and she was all wooing me. <laughs> well, now she's probably busy taking care of the house and the children and you. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> You know what it could be? Maybe she doesn't read your column so much anymore because she's feeling a little jealous. Jealous? Well, I wouldn't blame her. You have such an exciting life, Ray. You meet a lot of interesting people and you go to so many exotic places. You mean like Tampa? <laughs> You've been to Tampa? <laughs> Couple times. Well, there you go. You know, sometimes I feel a little jealous of Hank's work. He's a high school principal. <laughs> Vice principal. But you'd think he was the principal the way he always comes home with such interesting stories. And I just want to say, my gosh, what I would give to be a fly on the wall of that teacher's lounge. <laughs> Excuse my language. That's OK. I like how you talk. I got to tell you, you're a very perceptive person. And you like sports. Maybe you should talk to my mom. <laughs> Well, I'm sure she loves your writing. Oh, she's another one. She still hasn't got over the fact that I didn't become a poet or an opera writer or her biographer. <laughs> well, your mother's a strong personality, but she has a good heart. I think in many ways, she's still just a little girl who's looking for acceptance and love. I never thought of her like that. I've always just thought of her as mom. <laughs> well, I'm a mom, Tammy and Peter. No, I don't think so. You can't even do this. You're, you're too nice. Well, thanks, Ray. I think you're nice, too. All right. <laughs> anyway, this section's all done. Should we keep going? Oh, I don't know. Well, why not? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So, what do you think of my dad? I think we should finish the puzzle. I guess he just went into the drawer and helped himself. Actually, I gave it to him. something to wear while he rinses out his clothes. He only had the one outfit. Yeah, I noticed his underwear hanging on the doorknob, which reminds me, if you go out today, pick up a new doorknob. That's right. I also gave him a pair of your briefs. I had to pin them. Amy. Um. Maybe it's just me, but all you did was ask him to dinner, and now he's living on our couch. Robert, he's been nothing but nice and helpful since he got here. I'm sorry, honey. I can't live like this. <laughs> Stop crying. Please don't cry. You know I can't stand it when you... Look, fruit! <laughs> You're right. It's my fault. I know you never liked Peter. I never should have let him stay. But I thought maybe you'd get to know him because he's really very sweet. Oh, no, no, I know. But, you know, you have to admit he's a little... No, I know. We 
all know. <laughs> then why do we need him here? Because he's my brother. You know, Robert, I make an effort with your family. I try. Because they're a little... <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. I, 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 oh, okay, stop crying. Stop crying. Come on. Hey, how are the vittles? Taking care of the old rumbly and the tumbly? <laughs> so, Peter, have you spoken to Mom and Dad? Yeah, I called them yesterday. Know what I told them? I told them how much I love it here. <laughs> and they go, well, when are you coming home? And I go, well, I'll see you when I see you. New York is my lady. <laughs> Great, Peter. What did they say? Yeah, they didn't know what to say. You know, they're so wrapped up in their little puritanical Pennsylvanian snow globe of a world. I mean, this really shook them up, man. That's great, man. Hey, listen, guys, uh, when you're done eating, just put the plates in the sink and I'll get to them later. Right now, there's a mud pack with my name on it. <laughs> Is that Ray? <laughs> Hi, Ray. <laughs> Hi, Debbie. Hi, Peter. So you're back in town again. No, no, not again. Still. <laughs> so, better get going if we want to eat before the movie, right? Yeah. All right. We could use a night out. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't clear on the arrangements. I thought it was just going to be the four of us. Oh, well, couldn't it be the five of us? Well, sure. But is that really fair to Ray and Deborah? Do you guys mind? Well, sure, that'd be fine. I mean, no, no, no. <laughs> so I guess you're the only one with the problem. No, Peter. I don't have a problem. <laughs> Seems like you do. Seems like you do have a problem. <laughs> Robert, Peter, please. Oh, no, Amy, I can handle this guy. Are you gonna handle me now? No, nope. anybody me? else hungry? Huh? Come on, let's go. You know something? Amy was wrong about you. You're not nice, you're not sensitive, and I'll tell you something else. You're not a gracious host. Get out of my underwear! <laughs> All right, you want it? You have it. Hey, hey! <laughs> Let me with my hand. hand. Hey! Everybody, stay in the underwear that brought you. You to try one. Everyone says you're the best cook there is. Well, I wouldn't say that. I'd love to try one. Ooh, I have to say, Pat, that's marvelous. Oh, thank you. She's been so worried about what you were going to think of her dinner. Oh, who cares what I think? I'm surprised it took him this long. <laughs> okay, sweetie, mommy will help you stick him to the wall. How great is this? Isn't this great? It's like a family. I have more appetizers in the kitchen. Oh, I'll come with you. I want to see what else we have to look forward to. Don't put glue in each other's hair. <laughs> <laughs> What was that? Sound like something hit the house. <laughs> oh, it's a bird. Uh, it must have flown into the window. Oh. Oh man, it's hurt. Oh, what do we do? Don't don't squeeze it. Be careful. Ah, uh -uh, don't worry, I got it. Don't hold it too tight. I I, I know birds. I build bird houses. <laughs> oh my! Let me help you. Oh, poor thing. He must have gotten confused or something. Hey, hey, remember Tweety? Yeah. Yeah, we, when we were kids, we had a cockatiel named Tweety. I trained him so when I opened his cage, he'd fly right up onto my shoulder. He thought I was a tree. <laughs> Here we go. Oh. 
How's the bird? Oh, I took care of it. What do you mean? You know. <laughs> you killed the bird? I had to put it out of its misery. You mean you actually put it to death? It was very quick. How could you do that? Oh, she's very good at it. <laughs> You've done this before? Sure, all the time. Well, only when they hit the house. I think if birds keep flying into your house, you gotta warn them somehow. Maybe we should um, just cover the house with mattresses so the birds bounce off. <laughs> Are you making fun of me, Cocoa Puffs? Okay. All right, let's all take a deep breath and try to remember that the bird is in a better place. Birdie heaven, where the seed is free and every bird gets a worm, not just the early ones. She should take you into the kitchen. but how do you know the bird couldn't be saved? I mean, you're not a veterinarian. No, but I have lived in the country my whole life. <laughs> Mom grew up on a farm. I bet the chicken slept with one eye open. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it, Mother, how the city folk react to this type of thing? That poor was innocently flying around. You kill it, you don't even seem to care. It's not that we don't care, Marie. It's just out here there are animals all around us, and sometimes you do what has to be done. Yes, like when a rodent gets into the root cellar, you don't want to bang it with a shovel. <laughs> You got no right to go around bumping off God's creatures willy-nilly. Well, let's remember, Frank, God did say, let man have dominion over the fish of the sea and the fowl of the air and every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. You creepeth me out. <laughs> 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 